Ah, get that folks. Another glorious day at the scrapyard. And it's well worth coming out here. I found this. Nice big electrical panel. Cool amp meters. Bolts up to 300. Tests. Baxter West pumping station. Main lights and power. Transformers. SEC voltage metering transformers. Oh man, there's some cool shit in here. <laughs> Gonna have to buy this one. Oh yeah, there's the current metering devices. Cool. Got some good signs to take off. Oh, she's a bit gutted. Some nice big breakers in there though. Oh yeah, more volt and amp meters. More switches. Someone's had their way with it. Ooh, found a generator wiring, wiring diagram. Welling and Crosby or Crosley, Spotswood, Victoria. And 250 amp breakers. Sorry, 150. Feel good. That's the master switch. It all looks intact. Uh, current readers and the main meter. Don't know what that is. Time switch. Nice. Still working. Time's out though. It's about 9.40 now. My god, is there a lot of stuff in here. Just everywhere. I don't even know what half of these things are. I know they're relay mounts. But these little things. Maybe fuse holders or something. Or inductive load coils or something. Big contactors with 240 volt coils. 10 amps. Got like 10 amp breakers down there. Hmm, very interesting. Uh, paperwork on how it's wired, work log. Schematics. Heaps of shit in here. Well folks, that's the coup de gras for this one. It's no longer an electrical panel. I bought all the switch gear and signs and things for 50 bucks. That should be quite helpful. Brass plate, copper, stainless. Yeah, it's from the Baxter sewage plants for running the pumps. These things here are glued on, so I'm not going to worry about getting them off. Oh, the machine's really torn through this area. Not much left. Casting die for aluminium. That little pretty compressor. Don't know what brand that was. You just grab it and go to rip, out comes the coil. I think that was the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. Once it gets to this point everything just gets smashed. That's the end of it. It's big hydraulics. <laughs> the beast.
Definitely not good. Oh, there you have it. That's 50 bucks worth of switch gear. Pretty damn good. I love these old-fashioned meters too. Great, I've got volts and it. 3 amp meters. That one goes up to 200 amps. The other two are 100 amps for the uh, main pump motors. Got the lock. Test switch. Big reset switches. All these big contactors. Current readers. Crompton. KN200. Contactors. And they have 240 volt coils in them too. Very handy. Not sure what that is. RT3M. It's like a solid state contactor or something. Timer or something. Yeah, time time switch. Door switches. A limit. Setting limits. Three of them. 8 amp input supply gauge or something. That's the actual power meter. Power consumption meter. Some of them. Some of them. Hmm. Very good. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've got power hooked up to this contactor coil. I'll just show you how it operates. Now this here is the thermal overload. I think that's an automatic reset solenoid. So if it overheats or over amps and trips this out, this will uh, reset. And there's a timed automatic reset that will pop in and reset it and restart the motor again. But of course it has safety systems to prevent burning the motor out by con constantly trying to restart it. And the rest of this is the main contactor. Makes a good clack when she starts. I'm just controlling that by the panel. Trying to run away. <laughs> magnet contact down there, or the magnet core. Cool. These things will come in handy. <laughs> Thanks for watching.